Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to create and use arrays in JavaScript. What is array? Array is an object. It is used to store a collection of data. Let's check an example how to use an array in JavaScript. To create an array, as I told, array is an object. First, we need to create an object for an array. Variable. Here, I am taking an example as a student names students is equals to in my previous video i showed how to create an object so i'm using new keyboard create an instance of an array array and this array contains a collection of data which might be string or integer so here mostly we use arrays of the same data type I'm declaring, uh, I'm declaring some variables in this array. One is Jack, Peter, Sam, and the last one is Charon. When we are writing the data or values in this array, internally, the array is created the index numbers, and the index number starts with zero. Suppose the jack here is the index number 0, the Peter is 1, Sam is 2 and Charon is 3. Suppose I want to call the index number 2 means 0, 1, 2. This is 2. Write document dot write. And what is an array? Here the array object. Array object is students. Write here students with square brackets we need to specify the index number i want the index number 2 save the file refresh see here sam suppose if i declare instead of 2 the sam save the file refresh undefined so this students objects only takes the index number of an array to save it refresh same here now the next one in arrays i want to know how many values are stored in this array for that document dot write students dot length gth length length is a property of an array save the file refresh see here sam4 so uh, what i do here is plus i'm giving break save the file here the four so four values are there now the next one I want to sort the values in this array. So I have to use the sort method students dot sort save the file refresh. I sorted the values Charan Save the file, refresh. Could notice the output here on the browser. Charon, Peter, Sam, and Jack. The values are sorted. Now I want to. The values should be displayed in reverse. Document dot write. Students dot reverse method. It will display in a new line. Save the file. Refresh. So notice here again the output Jack, Sam, Peter and Chiran. It's a totally reverse when we compare with the sort values. Now the next method we will check. But notice here on the browser we are separating the values with, with comma. 
I want to replace with some other val some other symbols. For example, like hyphen, double quotes, colon, anything. I want to use a hyphen keyword here. So document dot write students dot join method. In the join method between the double quotes, I want to use hyphen. Save the file. Refresh. Uh, sorry, here is one of close the bracket. I forgot. Save the file. Refresh. But I just replaced the comma with a hyphen symbol. Now the next example, how to use concatenation? Concatenation means merging the values from one array to another array. This is an example. I'm creating one more array. Color is equals to new array red blue gray. How to use a contact? Now I want to merge these two arrays into one. Document dot right. I'm merging color object into st student array objects. So students dot concat the color semicolon. Again, we have to specify the break here. Save the file. Refresh. So notice here, Jack, Sam, Peter, Charon. After that, red, blue, green, which are the different array values. If you want to concatenate colors with students, then the output will be here the students copy it, write colors color not colors save the file refresh this is a problem here break and the last two examples I want to show they are push and pop the push method we use usually when you want to enter a value to a stack here the stack is an array so document dot write students dot push I'm giving the value is spider-man double quotes save the file refresh Here the output is showing an index. So I want to display all the values for the document dot. After I'm using the push method, right? I'm calling only the student objects only. Save the file, refresh. See here Jack, Sam, Peter, Charon, Spider-Man. Like that you can add n number of values. Rajesh. Brown. Save the file. Refresh. See here. Jack, Sam, Peter, Charan, Spiderman, Rajesh, Brown. After post method, we'll use the pop method. The pop method is used if you want to remove the last element or last value of an array. We use pop method. So here is an example document dot write students dot pop which doesn't take any parameter after that I want to display the students
values. Save it. Refresh. So I'm always forgetting here. Plus. Save the file. Refresh. See here the output. The brown has gone. That's it. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this, please leave your valuable comment, share this video, and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my upcoming videos.